Hi guys, it's Wednesday here. Um, where has February gone? Like, didn't I just upload a January favourites? Anyways, um, today's video I'm going to just show you like some of the products that I've been loving this month and also to just share them with you guys as well. So before I make this a super duper long video, let's get straight into it. So the first product I'm loving this month is my Makeup Forever foundation which I have been wearing every single day, non-stop since I've got it. If you guys watch my IMAX haul, which I will link right here, you guys will know that I bought Makeup Forever, um, the Matte Velvet Plus, the HD foundation and also Ilamascus foundations. I have not touched them <laughs> still at the moment in February, but it's because I just love, this is like skin, it's like second skin and I love this so much. But um, I'm trying to make it last, but next time I go IMAX again, I'm going to buy like 10 bottles to make it like really last because I love it. It just goes on really smoothly and my skin's got like red undertones but yellow undertones. And so sometimes it's a bit difficult to find a foundation that suits me. So this, if you're that in between sometimes red, sometimes red, yeah, sometimes red, sometimes yellow type skin, then definitely go for the... Um, what it's called makeup forever foundation and i'm in the shade just in case you're wondering um 180 i believe it is it's the 180 and i just love it it's like skin it covers everything up in one go you can build it up to full coverage but to be honest i don't really have to like now because of this foundation i kind of wear less makeup because before I'd have to just put it everywhere now I just put this on where I've got like hyperpigmentation like around my mouth and that's it so that's one foundation speaking of another foundation is actually this black up foundation which is called the I'm going to butcher this because I'm not French <laughs> the Fond Detente Matte which is basically a mattifying foundation and like this is another one where it's if you're in between that in between if you're in between that in between if you're in in that in between kind of color where you have to like pick up two foundations i definitely try black up give it a go they're sold in like debenhams and you can purchase them stuff their products online and i'm a massive fan of black up you guys know <clears throat> that i use their um blush all the time because it's my favorite blush in the whole world so, um because i thought i'd be darker because i'm always like the darker shade in foundations so I picked up the FM10 but then that's quite dark because I still got like yellow in my skin so I picked up the FM09 which was perfect match and I love it and it's it's full coverage you can like water it down you can build it up goes on really smoothly the only thing I would say is um, I wouldn't use a stippling brush with this because you'd, you'd be wasting the product and I wouldn't recommend using like a foundation brush either so I would recommend using like a sponge where it can really absorb into your skin and like cover all the areas but other than that I adore these foundations but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one now ah. next is this um, cream blush by Ilan Mascar called Libido, Libido and it's just an orange colour like if I can get it open come on man don't embarrass me Here we are, and it just looks like that. It's really, really bright, but when it goes on the skin, it's not that bright at all. Like when it's, once you've um, rubbed it in, if you can see this, just gives like a nice tint to like your skin. And I would normally wear this because, like, if you guys know, I don't really wear powders. I just put foundation on, and then my skin's dry enough to like absorb the oil. So um, I just. I like the I like the creamy dewy look so to put on like a powder blush it kind of looks weird sometimes depending on what kind of blush it is but this if you like that dewy look cream foundations are the way to go because it just gives you that nice flush of color looks like you're just glowing and oh love this love love um next product that I'm loving so far um, is this NARS Skin Smoothing Face Prep which is the best primer that I've ever tried in the whole entire world ever I can put, oh I wish I could show you guys and it just feels like velvet like 
and that's on my face sometimes I put this on and I don't even want to wear foundation after because it's just so smooth the next product I'm loving is this Melvita hand cream which looks like so and it's from the Aprikosma range <clears throat> and it's like extra rich hand cream yeah it even says extra rich hand cream for dry hands now this is just gorgeous I love it I actually want to try the rest of the Melvita range because this hand cream I've had it for ages and if any of you guys know like I love hand cream like I have a little display of hand creams on my desk because I just adore hand cream and hate dry hands so I'm loving that and lastly the product that I love this month is my L'Occitane the product I'm loving this month is my L'Occitane is it L'Occitane or L'Occitane? I never really know but anyways L'Occitane let's call it L'Occitane for the purpose of this video for this video but I'm loving this rose um, candle and it's from their Bougie Parfum range I think or their Four Rains range and that's actually what's burning there but I adore this it, it just smells of rose vanilla gorgeous it's really calming and I love to like light my candle when I'm about to like pray or if I'm about to like doze off to bed and read that's when I like to like burn my candles or sometimes when I like wake up first thing in the morning and I just want to feel like really calm and energized and because sometimes my days start really early and finish really really late um and lastly the last product that I'm loving I don't know if I said that was last but um, I'm actually wearing them it's the Kiss Everlasting French Nails it looks like that I don't know if you can see I've actually got it on my nails at the moment I don't know if you can see it and it's just basically like French tips and sometimes I get really busy so I don't have time to like go to the nail salon and spend a million years in the nail salon so just like put these on they don't take any longer than like maybe half an hour or so so they are great oh my gosh I've just realized that I'm not using my mic so if you can hear all the background noise I am so sorry <laughs> But um, yeah, so I love this and I'll show you what one of them look like. What I like about them the most is that this part here, I don't know if you can see it. This part is clear so it just has like your natural nail colour show through. Rather than having this like baby pink colour which is nowhere near your nail colour, it looks absolutely fake. And then when your nails start to grow out then you can just see the two different colours and I absolutely hate that. But these are great and also I just love this little tippy thingy because then once you've placed them you can just like break them off and they're all numbered as well so you know exactly which side goes on where. So yeah not a lot of favourites this month but yeah that's my favourites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like me doing favourites. If you want me to continue them, do let me know. It's really nice when you guys leave comments because I really, really appreciate them. That's why I reply every single comment that I usually get. But you guys don't know, they mean like the world to me. So if you do comment or if you have been commenting in the past, thank you so much because I truly do appreciate them. Believe you me, I do. That's why I always comment and replies like every single question well I try to unless they've been repeated but yeah and, I, and to those that email me as well like email me really nice and sweet things thank you so much like oh I'm just feeling all daisy crazy. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of questions about um, um, an about me tag or about me type um, video if you do want one of those like do let me know in the comments section yes I didn't say description <laughs> but do let me know and I'm happy to do one for you um, but I just want to know if you guys want one and also I'm gonna link like an about me tag that I've got in a in another video that I did like a little while back if you guys want to like get to know me a little bit more I don't know but um yeah that's everything um, thank you guys for watching this video but you know what I'm gonna say right <laughs> Till then, remember, the world is your oyster. See ya!